I am Anil Kumar and we have a test question for you to solve. It is based on quadratic equations. I like you to copy the question, solve and then check with my solution. The question here is solve x minus 1 divided by 2 minus x plus 1 divided by 3 equals to x squared. Now to solve such an equation we should actually get rid of fractions so we can multiply by 6. So we will multiply by 6 on both sides right so that is our first step so if I do that then what do I get I have equation x minus 1 over 2 here minus I have x plus 1 over 3 equals to x squared so when I multiply by 6 so I'm times this by 6 this by 6 this by 6 then 6 divided by 2 is 3 so I get 3 times x minus 1. Here 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we get 2 times x plus 1 and here we get 6x squared. Clear? Now let us expand and simplify. So we have 3x minus 3 minus 2x minus 2 equals to 6x squared. 3x minus 2x is x minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5 is equals to 6x squared. Let's bring these terms to the right side. So we get 0 equals to 6x squared minus x plus 5. Now, 6 times 5 is 30 and we need something which is minus 1. Okay, but product is positive so we can't really factor it. Now, let us use the quadratic equation and try to solve. Remember, any quadratic equation may have one solution, two solutions or no solution, right? So I hope you remember the quadratic formula which is if the equation is given in the form ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 x could be written as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a right. In our case a is 6 b is minus 1 and c equals to 5. So if I use this formula I get x as equals to minus of minus 1 is 1 plus minus b square is 1 square 1 minus 4ac which is 4 times uh, a is 6 times 5 divided by 2 times a which is 6 right so what we get here is 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus all this 20 times or 25 6 times 5 is 30 3 times 4 is 12 minus 120 divided by 12. Now clearly that is a negative number, right? So we have 1 plus minus negative 119, right? Divided by 12. So in this case, we have no real solution, right? You cannot find square root of negative number. So we have no real solution. Is it okay? No real solution. Now, those of you who are working with imaginary numbers, they can write down the solution for this, right? So, those of you who are working with imaginary numbers, for them the answer will be 1 plus minus, you know, i is the square root of minus 1. So, that is 119 divided by 2. So, where we say x belongs to complex numbers. So, those of you who are working with complex numbers, then this equation has a solution, two solutions. Right? These are two conjugate roots. But if you are working with real numbers, then it does not have any solution. Since b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, it's negative. Right? So that is how you could actually solve this quadratic equation. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.